coming to the next topic of our discussion on the swap contracts is the topic of interest rate swaps now again we saw that there are currency swap as a previous example now the interest rate swap takes into account the position as a fixed rate payer or as a floating rate payer and that's where the party tries to enter into a swap contract when it wants a different kind of an exposure so under a fixed rate uh, or under the plain vanilla interest rate swap contract this one party which will make a fixed rate interest rate payments and receive floating interest rate payments now both these payments are on the basis of a notional principle remember the actual principal amounts are not exchanged between the two parties further they are in the same currencies and they are of the same amount as well so both parties say example for example a and b they both agree at a same notional principal amount in the same currency and for the same amount and tenure also the only difference is that one party will make a fixed interest rate payment and receive a floating interest rate payment in exchange now this notional amount is not even exchanged at the beginning or at the end of the period also further the interest payments at the pre decided settlement dates are netted so say for example mr a and mr b enter into a plain vanilla interest rate swap where mr a will pay fixed rate payments and mr b will make floating rate payments so even if the notional principal is say 1 million dollars mr a will not pay the rate into 1 million dollars into the tenure no the interest payments will be netted and the party in the positive net of pay of payment will receive the one from the negative pay of situation party so on the settlement dates both the interest payments are calculated and only the difference is paid by the party which owes that payment to the greater amount party so floating rate payments are typically also made in arrears the calculation for floating rate payment is made in arrears meaning the payment that is made at the end of 3 months will be based on libor at time 0 the payment to be made at the end of 6 month for a 3 month libor will be that of a libor at the start of the 4th month that is at the end of the 3rd month which means the payment of floating interest rates is made at the end of the period but based on the floating rate at the beginning of the period like so we can say that in a plain vanilla interest rate swap the fixed rate payment person or party the payment will be decided based on the fixed rate of swap that is decided minus the libor of the beginning of the period that is not the current rate libor but the libor of the previous period multiplied by the time of the interest payment divided by 360 if this is semi annual it will be 180 days if this is a quarterly interest net payment it will be 90 days multiplied by the notional principal so here the fr is the fixed decided rate that is the fixed rate payment party t is the number of days in the settlement period so if it so if it was a quarterly settlement interest swap agreement then t will be 90 days if it's a semi annual swap agreement then it's a 180 days and np is the notional principle so that is how fixed rate payment is decided if this comes out to a negative amount then the fixed rate payment party will receive the net amount if this is a positive amount then the fixed rate payment party will have to pay this amount 
to the protein in the body. So that is the explanation of the plain vanilla interest rate swap agreement.